welcome back to the Sunday Morning Fishing Show. Today's episode, we're going for some really, really old fish. These are one of the oldest fish in the world. Now, I mean, they come all the way back from the dinosaur ages. And there's not too many fish or animals uh, that have survived that long. Now, don't get me wrong, uh, these fish were almost extinct here. Us humans, especially the fancy people, uh, they eat their eggs, which is known as caviar, um, which put a big hunt on these fish for a very long time. Um, now they're very protected, at least for, for where I'm from. Uh, you cannot keep any of them. Uh, it's all catch and release if you do go fishing for them. Uh, you can't use any barbs on your hook. They have to be a barbless hook for them as well. But, you know, it's for the fish to safety and make sure that the fish can still get back after a big long fight into the water without having its mouth all ripped up where it can't eat no more. And these fish, man, they can get up to 1,000 pounds. White sturgeons. Now that is a very, very big fish. And a fish that size is very, very old. Now that would have to be at least, you know, 20, 30 years old of a fish for that to be that size, if not older. Now this one's 19 pounds, 4 ounces. Now this is just a baby sturgeon. You know, we gotta get that back in the water so it can keep growing. Now I don't think I mentioned what we've been using for bait here. Uh, these things are a bottom feeder, guys. Uh, so it's kind of like fishing for carp, kind of thing like that. You just want to cast out and let it sit. Um, but a lot of good baits that people tend to use are crawfish, uh, freshwater clam, salmon eggs, or even a salmon carcass will also work. Uh, if uh, you're going around, especially up in uh, British Columbia, there's a lot of sturgeon up there and there's also a lot of salmon. Uh, so the salmon tend to die after they spawn. Uh, so if you're fishing around the area, you can usually find dead salmon laying around. So you got free bait basically all around you, especially uh, certain times of year after spawning seasons. Um, you can also use shad and other small fish, uh, dead minjos, and all types of things like that, guys. And if you are fishing for them, guys, make sure you have one hell of a beefy rod and reel set up. Uh, because these fish are very strong and very big and holy hell will you have one hell of a fight if you got some kind of rinky dink setup uh, that fish is just gonna run that spool right off and off she goes like see nothing even there but I'm gonna catch this one more guys let's see what this one weighs here god these are beautiful fish man 18 pounds, 10 ounces, not as big as the other one. Let's get that back in the water so she can keep growing. I'm just, uh, my arms are actually pretty tired, guys, for catching those big fish. So I'm just gonna try to take it easy here. Do a few more casts. Now sturgeons, man, they're not, uh, they're not like bass fishing where you're gonna be popping them off all day long. Um, sturgeon fishing, man, you really have to have your patience. But man, when you hook one of these things, oh geez, all that patient is all paid off. And you're going to be having the time of your life. Having some massively strong fish take your line like no tomorrow, man. Holy. Anyways, guys, I'm just going to... I'm just going to fish for a little bit longer here. I'm not going to hold you guys up. I just want to say thank you all very much for watching the Sunday morning fishing show. And I really hope you guys can share the episode. Uh, please like it and subscribe. And I will catch you on the next one. Peace.